in the final step of the process, we evaluate the training. We monitor trainees' performance after training to see if transfer occurred. We try to determine the strategic value of the training using return on investment and cost benefit analysis. Both of these tools are useful to top leaders because they connect the single training event or the training system to the bigger picture, to the organization strategies, goals. We evaluate the actual costs and the actual benefits of the training and compare that to our predictions. We use that information then to make changes to the training. Now that we've reached the end of step seven, one might think we are finished designing the training program, but that's not necessarily true. Many people take issue with the linear approach to training design suggesting that it doesn't accurately represent what we are doing in the real world. Here we have an illustration of the ADDI model. It is a cyclical approach to training and design, suggesting that the beginning and the end are sometimes ambiguous. ADDI is an acronym for the five stages of this particular model. Analysis, design, development, implementation, and evaluation, ADDI. Regardless of the model we use, all of these are going to identify needs assessment, training design, and training evaluation. 